Well, this is a change. After nearly 40 years, Victoria's Secret is getting out of the catalog business. They just are not resonating with current shoppers, apparently, who purchase more often online these days. Its parent company says it was spending up to $150 million to put out the catalogs, and that's not the only thing that's going away. Victoria's Secret is also stopping selling of swimwear, accessories, shoes, and most apparel, but it will continue to sell the athletic, uh, athletic clothing, which has been popular with women. This is something to think about. Is that really free money coming from your mobile carrier in your mailbox? And how about free access to shopping at Sam's Club and gift cards that may be about to expire? Consumer reporter Steve Noviello has some money saving details. Information today comes from viewer questions I often find. When one of you asks me a question, lots of other folks can benefit from the answer. But starting with this right here, those checks you've been getting in the mail from ATTM Settlement. Are they valid? Take a look at the video we've got for you. Yeah, these are the checks from the AT&T Mobility Settlement. Now, this is not an admission of guilt on the part of AT&T, but instead, you are part of the settlement if you paid taxes, fees, or surcharges to AT&T Mobility on internet access through either your data plan on your smartphone, your laptop connect card, or maybe a pay-per-use data service on bills issued from November 2005 up to and including September of 2010. Now, the amount of money that you'll get back is based on how much money you actually paid in. Mine was for $16.43 and you can bet I cashed every cent of it. The checks, by the way, come from Central Bank in Jeff City, Missouri. Next up, one of you wants to know, Steve, I love shopping at Sam's Club, or at least the idea of it, but I don't like the idea of the membership fee. Is there a way around it? Mm, kind of. There is. Take a look. There are three different departments at Sam's Club that do not require you have a membership. You can first have visit a doctor in the optical center. You can buy things at the pharmacy, and you can also buy alcohol, all with no membership required. Now, other ways to get in the door? Well, you can maybe have a friend add you as an authorized user. You can go to one of their open houses, which you'll be alerted to when you sign up for their email distribution list. Or you can download a free one-day pass to Sam's Club. Uh, a link to do so is on my Facebook fan page. I will warn you, though, anything you buy will be subject to a 10% surcharge, both either online or when you shop in the store. So depending on how much you're planning on buying, it may just make sense to go ahead and buy that membership card anyway. Speaking of cards, gift cards. Some of you writing in and saying, hey, Steve, I see some stores are starting to close. Are these gift cards in jeopardy? In some cases, they are. Take a look. Sports Authority, for example, filed recently for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and then said, mm, you know what? Instead, I think we're going to look for a buyer. And now some of their stores are closing, so you're going to want to use those gift cards. American Apparel just emerged from bankruptcy protection, so maybe use that sooner rather than later. Pacific Sunwear, filing for bankruptcy protection and also a lot of quote folks asked me about Radio Shack. Now here's the deal folks, Radio Shack does not any longer accept gift cards. However, if you have a Radio Shack gift card, you may not be out of luck. You can go to oldradioshackgiftcards.com and file a claim to get reimbursed for up to 100% of the value of the card that you're holding onto. Links to all this stuff right now on our station website and of course on my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash save me Steve. I'm Steve Noviello. That's my two cents. Spend it wisely.